Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to review these three grips. These are the ODI lock-on. All, all of them are the lock-on system. This uh, ODI original, this two, and this set is from 2024MX uh, brand. Now, regarding the quality, I think that the original half waffle from ODI and then the 24MX20 brand, these are the two qualityest uh, grips. And this one, which is ODI, and actually it's the um, more expensive, more expensive model here, EMIG EMIG. So this, I think it's a signature of Rider or something like that. So these grips are, are fine and they're looking good, but they're not that grippy. You know, the um, texture here is not that uh, noticeable and I can slide my finger more easily than I can do on these. These ones are more grippy and I can, I, I'm sure that maybe you can see because of the GoPro, you won't be able maybe to see, but I don't know, it's the world default, so I don't know if you can see, but the grip texture is more noticeable on the original ones, the sim more uh, more cheap, uh, cheaper uh, model than the more high-end model. Maybe it's it's a thing of preference, I don't know, but to me, I, I thought that um, I'm going to get a better grip with these or at least the same amount of from this one. Also, I, I thought the, the EMIG um, section here is going to be like these half waffle uh, textures, which is, um, it's it's a rubber, okay, that higher than the original texture, but the EMIG is just, you know, just, uh, just font. Uh, and a, a different color on the same texture. It, it is not um, another layer of rubber or something like that. So that's disappointment from from my I think from ODI. I don't know. I <sighs> there are three dollars um, more than the original one, one, something like that. So next time I, I am I'm not going to get those. Maybe because of the color combination, but uh, in terms of of grip. These are better. And then on the second place, these are much grippier than this one. And these are going from, are, are being sold for $13. So I, if, I'm, if I remember right, these are for 14, 13, and this for 16. You know what, let me get the invoice and Let's see. So, uh, yeah. So, the ODI Emig are being sell. These are uh, under discount, by the way. So, seventeen dollars. The twenty Fastman grips are fourteen, and the original then like the yeah original half waffle are for fifteen. So. A difference of one dollar between these and these and these are grippier but not that much more not um, uh, that much than this so these are a very good uh, option I don't know how they last and the the um, rubber quality but I will test it and update you but paying two dollars more on these, I don't think it, it worth it because it's nice color color combination is uh, it's always nice you know to have a uh, better looking grips but if they are not gripping that much I don't know if uh, it worth it so if you will pick these the difference between them it's three dollars more not two dollars so again it's not a huge amount of money but just understand you're paying for more and you're getting less grip but prettier look but I don't think uh, 
you should consider getting a, a prettier look grips and get less grip with them because the grips on the bike are on the handlebar are very very important in my opinion so stick with the original ones with their waffles or go with the cheaper option which are great actually not a huge difference but uh, I, I just couldn't get the ODI original on red color in the same price this is where uh, the original uh, half waffle red color are for 19 dollars and that's the reason I, I went with the ODI just to test them and because they are 13 dollars thanks again for watching and I'll keep up, update you regarding the quality of them between them I'll try to swap them from right to right just to uh, check how they feel I will take the these in my backpack now and just uh, hot swap them on the um, on the track the single track just to do a back to back comparison and let you know what I'm thinking thanks for watching guys please consider to subscribe to the channel I'm trying to uh, upload more videos regarding products and all that and some riding uh, videos so stay tuned I'm going to do a, a very big it's, it's not going to be a rebuild of my dirt bike but you know to add some blings and um, modifications to some of the parts so stay tuned for this uh, this uh, series thanks again guys and again don't forget to subscribe bye bye